can't believe how fast time has gone by. It's already another update time for my Princess Project Role. It's just crazy. So I started this project with a whole bunch of other ladies about a month ago. We just picked five to seven princesses from the list that we have. I would, you know, write it down below, of course. We randomly pick five to seven princesses. Each princess has two colors associated with her, and then we can just pick one color out of the two and then pick a product according to that color. So it's not too complicated, and I only picked five princesses because I made it all makeup project pan, so it might be a little bit harder. I'm not gonna explain why I picked one product for this specific princess. If you wanna know all the reasoning and all that, you can go back to watch my intro video, which I will link up here so you can go see it. And I'm just gonna go into the products now and show you the progress I have. First, let's just get the boring guy out of the way. So I have this sample size shadow insurance from Too Faced. And yes, I have a little clip on it. Um, so when I started this project, I was like right there. You can see I didn't have much left, maybe like a third of the way. So I thought maybe I can finish it because yes, I use this really slowly, but also the project is like a few months long and I really don't have much left, but no. <laughs> a whole month has passed it just it did not go down um, I use this thing to kind of squeeze the tube down you know you can get those things to like squeeze your toothpaste and I just realized I had one of those so I try to use it to squeeze everything down and no I can't go down any further and it's exactly where it was before so I don't know I don't know if I can finish it and I don't know what's up with that it's just taking forever. And this is for the princess Cinderella and her color I picked light blue because of the packaging. Then I have two products from this Bon Jovi palette. I have Jasmine for gold and I have Belle for yellow. So I actually picked one blush and one highlight from this Bon Jovi palette. Last update, I showed you that I had big size paint in both products, but I wanted to repress them. So I actually did repress them as soon as I finished filming them. So after repressing, of course, all the pan got covered up and this is where I am now. I don't think it's very different from, you know, right after I repressed it, especially the highlight. I don't think you can really see any difference at all. It's probably just getting a little bit thinner, but no, I can't really tell. And for the blush though, I have a tiny little bit pan. Um, this is probably just because I didn't repress it very evenly because like around that little pan, it's not like super thin or anything. It probably just had that little spot that I didn't get to cover very well when I was repressing it. But you know, pan is pan and hopefully we can see a little bit more progress next time. Then I have a blue eyeliner for Milan. Her color is blue and green, I believe. Anyways, this is what I have on my eyes today. It's a really pretty cobalt blue color. It's from Butter Linden. The color is called Inky 6. This is what it looks like. And I used it a little bit, but not as much as last time, actually. This is my progress. You can see I did use a fair amount of it. That's the beginning. Last update, this is where I am now. I'm happy with that progress. Not as fast as last time, but still pretty good. I'm not too worried about it. The only thing is, though, I feel... I have to feel like using a blue eyeliner because I do see a difference on my eye look and sometimes I just want to go with a traditional black, you know, so um, for that reason, I'm not using it as consistently as last time, but hopefully I can still finish that. All right, the last product. <laughs> I don't know. This is like really strange for me. This is a lip gloss for Rapunzel. If you watched my last update, you know that I finished a lip gloss that I originally picked for Rapunzel. Her color was purple and lavender, I think. So originally I had my Buxom sample size lip gloss in the color Jennifer. I completely finished that in two weeks. That was crazy. So I picked a replacement product. It's also a lip gloss, also purple and lavender-ish color. This one is from All May. This is called Liquid Lip Balm uh, and the color is Lilac Love. I was pretty sure when I started the project, this was a new lip gloss. Like I tried to put it in hot water, but I couldn't see a line. So I figured it's probably just full to the rims. That's why it was like no line showing. But this is where I am now. <laughs> can you see it? it it's kind of like, you can see the little window right there. Do you see it? 
like you can kind of see the separation right there that's just the product on the bottom and I don't know like did I really use it that fast I can't really believe that because this one is 7.1 mils and the buxom one was only two mils so this is like three three and a half of those buxom lip glosses I don't think I actually used that much product. I can't believe it. I think I probably just didn't really see the line when I started. Like, it wasn't completely full when I started the project. That was the only explanation that I can think of. I just, I do not think I actually used that much lip gloss in the past two weeks. And how I do it now is actually kind of accidental. I put it um, next to the vent, like you know how your laptop always has a little fan and then like the hot air will come out. So I put it like right there at the exit for the hot air to come out and then I saw a little like line. Um, I of course don't recommend you doing that because it can get really hot and it might change the consistency of your lip gloss. You're like pretty much cooking it. But because I know I can finish this quickly, I don't mind doing that just because it's already on its way out anyways. But if you have a brand new lip gloss that you're going to keep for two years, I don't think you should do that. Regardless, this is where I am. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really surprised. What else can I say? But hopefully, if that really is the case, I can finish this, which is really exciting. I mean, I don't mind this, but it's kind of like surprising to me. Alright, so that's all the five products for this project that I have. I don't think I'm going to roll in different princess once I finish products though. Uh, some of you guys asked me last time, so I just want to clarify that. I think I'm just going to go with like a traditional project pan. I'm not going to do a rolling pan style. But if you are really interested into like a rolling pan style kind of project, I do have one going. I will link it also up here so you can go watch it. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.